let's talk a little bit about what mobile first is. Your online presence matters. It matters a lot. In the past, there was a lot of marketing revolving around word of mouth and things like billboards or door to door. There's all these different strategies and they've evolved. They continually change. Some are still effective. Some are really outdated. But it's important to have a marketing strategy in place for your patients to find you and the services that you provide as a primary care physician. So in the past, there's been a lot of emphasis on things that are print related, or um, you may have marketed on the TV and done some commercials, done some ads, maybe printed in some newspapers or magazine articles or what have you. Today we have the internet. It's been around for a while, 20 years or so, maybe a little bit more. And the strategies have been continually changing. It's constantly updating. And when the internet first came out, there was a lot of emphasis on websites, websites, websites. You used to get into a lot of trouble if you were a business and you didn't have a website. And that's pretty much still the case, but websites are less important now relative to the other options that you have. For instance, social media is huge. If you're not on social media, you're probably behind the times. Um, websites like Facebook pretty much want you on their service, dedicated to staying on that platform. So you have to play within their sandbox. And it's a strategy that works, and it's something that you'll have to think about. You have to implement it. Not necessarily Facebook, although they're probably the biggest player in the field. So that's one thing that you need to keep in mind. But let's talk about how it's evolved, you know, coming from billboards, or if some of you remember the yellow pages where everybody named their business AAA, AAA, or ABC Plumbing, or what have you. That was because they wanted to be at the top of the pages, the yellow pages. And so you saw a lot of competition with regards to the alphabet marketing strategy. Word of mouth probably will never go away. It's been around and it still is here. Although the technique used for sharing that has changed. Again, reviews. Online reviews mean a lot. When your customers, your clients, your patients come into your practice, come into your facility, and they have a great experience, you want to make sure that you grasp that and let them share with their family, their friends, their influence uh, with the public so that you can go ahead and spread the word uh, with your uh, desired crowd. And that's important. And if you're still relying on web pages solely, SEO is a minefield, but it still works, but you got to be vigilant with it. You got to make sure that you keep your website updated. You got to do blogs. You got to post articles. You got to provide links. You got to provide some value. You have to have it mobile friendly. Mobile first is very important. Uh, back in, I think, 2015, Google really made a push to make sure that all the rankings were modified so that, you know, those first page rankings went to mobile first or mobile friendly websites. You cannot have a website that your customer cannot find you. It's outdated. Everyone is searching on their phone more so than on the desktop. And that's what basically mobile first is. So you have to have something in place to make sure that you're capturing that audience and reaching them there where they are. And that's their cell phones. Being mobile first means that you remove barriers. People shouldn't have to hunt for you. People shouldn't have to work too hard to get to you, find information, make uh, appointments, um, find answers to questions that they may have, reach out to you. And being mobile first allows your intended audience to make sure that they can reach out to you without any complications, without jumping through hoops. And very often, more so now than ever, Google and other companies are putting an emphasis on not just the written word, but especially videos and other content, audio. Amazon's really making a big push for audio content and with the uh, Alexa and, and these things, these audio activated devices. And it's important that you try to have some knowledge of how that works. You don't, you don't need to be everywhere all at the same time. It takes a lot of energy 
maybe a lot of time, a lot of money to go ahead and cover all those avenues. But you need to know that simply having a website and posting it is not going to be strong enough. Vary it up a little bit. Decide what three things that you're going to be strongest at and go for it. Provide your customers with links. Provide them with blogs. Provide them with uh, articles, provide them with videos, provide them with live videos or podcasts or infographics. Choose something and go at it and create content that will bring them back and make it easy to navigate on their phone. You know that phones run on apps. So ultimately, a very strong way of capturing the mobile first crowd, which is the majority of us now, is to consider maybe getting an app made for your practice, your own, your own sandbox. It's not uncommon for Facebook or Google or um, any other social media company to change the rules on you. And, you know, now you can't reach your intended audience with the amount of saturation that you previously once had. But with an app, you retain your audience in the sense that you don't have to play by anyone's rules. You make the app your notifications come through immediately through push notifications. You communicate regularly with your audience. You can link back to your website. You can allow them to schedule directly in the app. You can provide them with the content directly through the app. So you avoid the clutter and the distraction that maybe a Twitter feed, uh, you, you know, you try to post something on Twitter and it gets lost in the endless stream, if you will. So consider consolidating your crowd. Consider uh, an app, a strategy that would consolidate your audience and bring them back and encourage them to uh, review your business, review your clinic, your practice, so that that way you can keep in constant communication and allow the internet to do what it does, allow things to be more organic. So just some food for thought. There's a lot more to discuss, and thanks again.